Hey, I'm Chris and thanks for joining me on this next video where I um, get the trims painted on the body and the inside of the windows uh, all painted up. Uh, now I will be honest, um, a lot of this footage will be sped up to 8x speed because there was a whole lot of footage to capture. Um, so, you know, it is quite sped through unfortunately, I do apologise but I wanted to try and get it in to actually show some, you know, working. And here you are, I've got the, uh, the this the masks um, installed on the inside of the windows. Um, that black cloth is actually just um, a vest. It was just a vest, it was two pound. It's a hundred percent cotton. Um, I like using it for not only just buffing off, but when I'm putting the, the mask um, sticker templates in on the windows um, to give it a, you know, a good rub on the inside, making sure I've got all the edges um, burnished as much as possible. So hopefully when it comes to painting, there'll be no paint bleed and things like that. Um, and then once we've done that, as you see, I've started on the bodywork now. So I'm just working on one strip of tape at a time. I lay it over the body, the, the trim that needs painting. And then as you've seen, using a cocktail stick, just running it um, in the panel line. And then using a the fresh blade, uh, cutting into that, uh, the, the groove that I've made in the tape. Uh, and then as you can see there, I've actually uh, decided against polishing this. Um, as you can see, the, the reflection in the gloss from the Street Blisters 2K was good enough as it was. Um, and I haven't polished it because I've only got uh, 2500 grade wet sand. And for this 20, um, 2K, I definitely need a few higher grades. Um, I did try polishing out the, um, the, the bonnet um, but with the wet sand, with 2500 and then polishing it out. But it was just leaving little tiny scratches and OCD was kicking in and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to leave it, I'm just going to leave it as it is and even with a couple of specks of dust here and there. And do you know what, in the grand scheme of things, I don't mind. Um, I still think it looks incredibly glossy and I actually really, really like how it looks. So anyway, back to the uh, the masking. Um, as you see, I've already started um, onto one of the sides. Um, and the reason I like to do this one strip at a time is if you just do all the strips all at once, you're not guaranteed, um, you know, the, the best um, bit of masking of what I've found. I've tried it before, I've done it all at once, then tried grooving it in and cutting it in. Uh, it didn't quite work well enough for me. Um, just a quick one as well, once I've masked it off, just to take a bit of the shine off and just to smooth it back a little bit. As you see there, there was some uh, P800, P800 sanding sponge uh, what I've been using um, from Street Blisters. And uh, just to like, take the shine off a little bit, just to give it a bit more of a keyed area so the uh, the paint goes down a bit better. Uh, what I've used there is as well is um, just to mask off the larger areas is uh, just a plastic delivery bag. You know, like some have been delivered, you know, left over and just use that. It, it does the job well enough. Um, and as you see, uh, with the airbrush, I've used some Mr. Surfacer uh, 1500, uh, two coats on both uh, inside the windows and on the body trim itself. And here we are just removing uh, the window mask seals themselves. And I was incredibly happy with how this turned out. Uh, there's just a couple of tiny specks of bleed through, uh, but nothing's too you're hardly noticeable until you look really close um, but with a little um, little scratch with a cocktail stick um, it soon removed them and as you see there look just removing um, the plastic bag in and then the mask in from the body um, and I know it's not quite you see it in normal speed and you haven't seen it you know sped up super fast I do apologize but like I said I wanted to get it all in to see you know to show you the, the processes I've done um, and with with how good the 2K is and its house, you know, settled, you know, so nicely and it's so tough and durable. Um, literally, just a quick wipe down with this cotton um, vest. And you see there, look, just where my hand prints, fingerprints have been, and then just giving it a rub down. As you can see, just literally rubbing it down, and then back to a nice glossy shine. And and like I said earlier on, even though I didn't polish it, you can see I've just incredibly happy with how it looks even without a polishing um, and that's just how good this this 2k is from street blisters and there we are just a, a, qu a quick fit of the, um, the the windows inside 
it all lines up, it all looks nice, and yeah, incredibly, incredibly happy. Um, this is the closest I've possibly ever been to a, a perfect set of um, window trims and the inside windows. Um, I, yeah, this is the closest I've ever been. And like I say, these double thumbs up, <laughs> it says it all. Um, and there's just some pictures to roll out with. And um, again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, the next video, for those that have seen on Instagram, uh, the build is now finished. Um, so the next video will, will just be a rundown of the final build. Again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Catch you all soon. Cheers. Bye.